Hi, my name is Amna Liakit, and I'll be sharing a paper that I worked on with Bennett Axtell and Cosman Muntiano, entitled With a Hint She Will Remember, Collaborative Storytelling and Culture Sharing Between Immigrant Grandparents and Grandchildren Via Magic Thing Designs. Storytelling is an essential means through which we foster family connection. Through storytelling, we pass on language, social, and cultural knowledge. In multi-generational family homes, grandparents are often the curators of this family history and cultural knowledge. However, it can be a challenge for grandparents and grandchildren to engage in storytelling without starting points, for example, photos as a memory prompt. This is especially true for immigrant families. In Canada, there are 1.7 million immigrants over the age of 65, and many of them live in multi-generational homes. The process of migration threatens storytelling traditions because, first off, families might have had to leave behind their physical photos when they migrated. As well, language and culture divides might emerge over time between grandparents and their young grandchildren who are growing up in a completely different culture. So the question then is, in the absence of physical artifacts, what can be done to foster social connection and story sharing between grandparents and grandchildren? And this leads to our research question, which was, how can digital storytelling and crafting support immigrant grandparents and grandchildren in finding common ground amidst their unique histories and individual experiences? To investigate this question, we conducted participatory design workshops with 10 families, so grandparent grandchild dyads, of diverse heritage across Canada. The participatory design process allowed us to work closely with grandparents and grandchildren to ensure their voices and participation in the process were directly reflected in the designs that we produced. We used poster board, index cards, markers to give families the flexibility to create their designs. We also used an approach called the magic thing. So the magic thing approach encourages ideas that are not limited by perceived rules or abilities of technology and can be very effective when working with younger children, in our case from the ages of 8 to 12. So we asked grandchildren, imagine this poster board is a magical board that can do whatever you want it to. In our analysis, we used the triological approach. So in the triological approach, the introduction of a third shared space, in this case, the physical artifacts in the form of the poster board, turns what was traditionally a dialogic conversational process of storytelling between grandparents and grandchildren into a more collaborative one. And through applying this lens, we can look at what the process of creation reveals about collaboration and dynamics between grandparents and grandchildren. And so putting all that together, we engaged grandparents and grandchildren in the participatory process through a scaffolded model. So first of all, families created designs for individual story hints. Um, and secondly, they placed all of these hints together on a poster board, and this was called the memory board. So here are some photos of what that looked like. On the left-hand side, families first came up with ideas for stories that they wanted to share, and they wrote down keywords or drew simple illustrations to remember that. They then placed these on a poster board, and then they drew designs around the poster board um, to show how they would like to organize and retrieve and access their stories in the future. Um, and on this poster board, they also added their designs for the magic thing. So after transcribing the interviews from the session, we conducted thematic analysis and we came up with four themes. In this presentation, I'll be talking about one of those themes entitled Basing Designs and Familiar Metaphors and Extending Beyond to Construct Common Ground. So there are four sub-themes underneath this theme. So first of all, we found that familiar audio-video metaphors like speech interactions can help to overcome language barriers in immigrant families. 
So many grandchildren incorporated some kind of a magic wand into the design of their poster board. Um, so in the image on the top, you can see a magic wand that translates a story that was written in the grandparents' heritage language that the grandchild can't read into English, which the grandchild can read. In the image on the bottom, the magic wand reads the grandparents' stories aloud. We also found that familiar map-like metaphors can ease grandparents' transition to a digital space. So we found that several grandchildren employed map-like structures or book-like structures to organize their stories. And then upon retelling, this provided them with an easy way to discuss options with their grandparents and to figure out which stories they would like to retell through this organization. We found that designs emphasize the interactive nature of reminiscence by moving across all stories. So what this means is that grandchildren were restructuring or reinterpreting their grandparents' stories to make it more engaging for them upon retelling. On the image on the right-hand side, you can see flaps that one grandchild added and Lifting up these flaps reveals a twist or a surprise in the story, um, which made this process much more engaging for the grandchild um, and gave them a greater sense of ownership over their grandparents' stories. We found that magic or science fiction designs can reveal grandchildren's awareness of divide. So we found that grandchildren were very aware of the cultural, language, and generational differences between their grandparents. Um, so, for example, some grandchildren incorporated teleporter, um, teleporters into the poster board, and these teleporters would allow them to view their grandparents' memories and stories from the grandparents' perspective, revealing that grandchildren were aware that there was a context gap between themselves and their grandparents. So the socio-technical implications that come out of this theme is that a lot of digital storytelling tools often rely on photographs, which are based in album and scrapbooks, which immigrant families very often don't have. So our contribution here is that we found that families came up with diverse designs that complement what is familiar to all generations. Um, and these designs incorporate features specific to immigrant experiences like the magic wand uh, for language translation or the teleportation button, um, suggesting ideas for design that can help families overcome the lack of physical artifacts as a starting point for storytelling. So in terms of design implications, we found that grandchildren and grandparents reworked stories to fill perceived gaps. So by explaining cultural artifacts, through translations, through the drawing of images. And this process helped to transform formerly personal stories into a shared family history. And so our design guideline is that there's a need to provide space for grandparents and grandchildren as active and flexible participants. And this means that storytelling is not a linear process um, and the design of tools need to allow for grandchildren especially to rework stories, to ask questions, to add context, to loop back around to earlier details. Here's a summary of our other themes and design guidelines, which can be found in our paper. Um, and thank you for your attention. And we would especially like to thank all the families that shared their homes and their stories with us.